Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to the Minecraft Emporium. While many, many people have asked and answered the question, what is the most damage you can deal with a single sweep of a sword, not too many people have ever discussed projectiles. And so in today's video, we're going to be covering potion tipped arrows to firework rockets and projectiles and everything in between. And so if you're excited as I am to really explore the depths of Minecraft bow damage maximum output powers, do consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. And with that all out of the way, let's hop into things. Now to get you guys up to speed on what is the record holder, you could say, for the maximum damage that it can be granted within a single, I suppose, sweep or click of a sword, that has to go to a netherite sword enchanted with Smite 5, let me scroll over to it, and Fire Aspect 2. You might already know that Sharpness actually deals less damage to, to, than Smite to undead mobs, and I can even prove this to you by hitting a Wither Skeleton and it not dying, however I can easily one-tap it with a Smite 5 sword. What's so interesting about this is that I don't even have to crit the Wither Skeleton in order to kill it in one hit. Not to mention the fact that with Strength 2, we boost our damage for a total calculated value of 41 hit points. And while that might seem absolutely incredible, you have to remember that Fire Aspect 2 makes certain mobs burn for an incredibly long time. Or I shouldn't say incredibly, but quite substantially long time. And so 41 hit points is the number we have to beat. That, for some context, is 20.5 hearts to an undead mob, which is more, as you might expect, than two rows of hearts. But let me tell you as a little bit of spoiler, that is nothing compared to what we can achieve later on in the video. Alrighty, I'm going to make a cut here, and we are going to start entering the Realm of the Bow. Alrighty everyone, it is now time to explore the subject of today's video, the actual bow. Picking up a bow and arrow in hand and drawing it all the way back will deal a flat amount of damage of 6 points, or 3 hearts. However, and although this isn't, you know, really that powerful, it can't even kill something like a, a pig as example, what we can do is, of course, enchant the bow. This wouldn't be a complete video, of course, without discussing this subject. And however, a power 5 bow can do a deal a whopping 15 points of damage, which is enough to kill things like blazes, which is quite interesting. And finally, Moving quite swiftly here, we have the Flame Enchantment, which sets uh, all players and uh, mobs on fire long enough to deal 4 additional points of damage. Why I felt the need to plant flowers and flower pots is, I suppose, is irrelevant. However, there's one last thing to bring our total from up to, uh, up to the maximum value it can be, and that is Potion Tipped arrows. There are of course two varieties that we are interested here, the poison arrows and the harming arrows. Interestingly, poison, where is it, poison two arrows actually deal less damage than poison one arrows. And moving across the column, poison deals four ticks of damage, poison extended deals twelve, and poison two deals three. However, instant damage is where things get interesting, because instant damage one deals six, and instant damage two deals twelve. Now, if you're paying attention to those numbers, you might be wondering, Alex, why is instant damage better if it does the same 12 at its maximum level that Potion Extended does? And that is because instant damage deals the damage instantly. However, uh, Potion Extended with the Poison is actually going to start competing with the flame arrows that the player is going to be set on fire for. Because as you know, players cannot take two sources of damage in the same instant. And so if they happen to be taking fire damage and poison damage, that's actually going to limit the amount of damage they're going to take. And so in all points moving forward, we'll be using Potion Tipped Potion tipped harming two arrows. And finally, there's one last thing that really boosts the amount of damage we can do in general in Minecraft, and that of course is strength. Strength 2, you can plug it into this formula on screen now, will now bring our total up to an immense 36 
points of damage. I'll put on screen now my testing procedure for all of the upcoming things, and that is TPing arrows on top of my head as soon as I project them into the air. And using harming two arrows will deal a whopping 19 hearts or 38 points of damage, two less than what the uh, sword can initially do. And so is that it? Is that the end of where the show leads in terms of the maximum damage a bow can do? Strength 2, Harming 2, Power 5, Flame 1? Well, my friends, no. Not in the slightest. And now for the final section of the video. Crossbows. Added in update 1.14, the village and pillage update, and being able to hold arrows as you carry around uh, inside of a kind of a loaded state, crossbows can deal 9 points of damage uh, in Bedrock Edition Hard Mode. However, once we equip them with instant damage to arrows, we can raise that value up to 10.5 hearts which is a pretty crazy value if you really think about it. I'm going to boost my health, as you can see, and if we run over to this command walk, I can kind of showcase how I test these things in that I firstly shoot it up in the air and then teleport it on my head. As you can see, if you were to subtract the damage, uh, I didn't make that a very good experiment just because it didn't have my health all the way full, but if you were to subtract the damage, you would get 10.5 hearts of damage which is kind of absurd if you think about it and if you're wondering uh, no strength 2 doesn't have any effect on things as i can now demonstrate by uh, shooting another arrow memorizing where uh, our hearts are currently positioned at and then firing the arrow and then teleporting it onto my head you will see it will do the exact same amount of damage 10.5 hearts Changing my game mode back over into creative mode, and we can now explore the crossbow enchants. Because while they cannot be enchanted with something like power, they can be enchanted with things like multi-shot. And here is where things get very, very interesting. Because with multi-shot, I can fire a single arrow and have it do triple the amount of instant damage arrows. And so with multi-shot, we take that 10.5 and we multiply it by 3 to get a total of 31.5 points of damage, uh, to, sorry, to get a 31.5 hearts of damage, words are very difficult, for 63 points of damage, which is absolutely insane. We're just trying to quantify how crazy the instant damage to multi-shot one crossbow actually is. So as I mentioned before, my testing procedure is that I load whatever instrument I'm using to test, fire it off into up into the sky, and then press the button to land it on my head. And as you can see, a multi-shot one instant damage two crossbow does more than three rows of hearts. How crazy is that? And we even do one step more later in the video, which you're going to want to stick around to. And as soon as I put myself into game mode creative, even considering those three rows of hearts, watch what happens when I hit an iron golem. Imagine people spamming their swords and different things at the iron golem. However, in my case, to show you how powerful this technique, weapon, strategy, etc. is, that is one tap to the iron golem and two tap to the iron golem and an arrow is flung all the way out into the distance, meaning that it only took five arrows or two clicks to kill an entire iron golem, which I can assure you is much, much, much more than, uh, or is actually much less than what is required for a sharpness five diamond sword. Other than that, I'll let past Alex hop right back in, and thank you so much really for watching. insane which I, I, I don't even know how to express how absolutely insane things are, but they get even more insane when we consider piercing. Because as I will demonstrate in this very, very satisfying demonstration, piercing allows us to deal the 10.5 hearts of damage to five different mobs, meaning we multiply the amount of damage, as if I aim things in the right position and fire, dang it, I missed. 
if I set things up again, sorry about that, but if we multiply the amount of damage that it takes for a single harming two arrow, which is 10.5, and multiply, gosh, I need to aim this just right so I can get the full amount of damage, how about that? As you can see, how satisfying was that? They all died. And so, ladies and gentlemen, if we multiply the 10.5 hearts that are dealt by a Harming 2 arrow in Minecraft Bedrock Edition from a loaded crossbow, Strength 2 doesn't have any effect, interestingly, we will get a total of 105 points of damage, which is 52 Hearts. I'll put some footage up on the screen of myself using instant healing arrows to kind of uh, just explain to you how absurd something like this is. But, at the end of the day, that is the final conclusion for my current findings. To the very few amount of people who actually watched at the end of the video, feel free to tell me down in the comments if you enjoyed all of the effort that I put into testing and experimenting and more testing for the entirety of this video. As always, if you do enjoy, consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Take care, and have a fantastic rest of your day.